So, uh, a lot of people have been asking me, what is Valheim about? Uh, you know, what's enjoyable about it? What is the general gist of the game? So I want to do a quick video explaining what the game is about, why I think it's one of the best games that I've ever played, and why I think you should play it. So Valheim currently, in its current form, is a co-op PvE survival game. It has uh, a bit of a linear progression uh, regarding how you advance through the tech. Currently, there are five world bosses in the game. As you kill the bosses, your tick, uh, your basically your gear tier, gets ticked up. There's other ways to advance your tech beyond that that isn't as linear, but the main linear progression of the game are the five world bosses. You have to learn different tech to kill the world bosses, and there's different mechanics for them. Uh, we currently are playing on a dedicated server, so the game is uh, our server world is running when we're not there. Uh, if you play the game regularly without a dedicated server, it's only going to be really active while you're logged in. Uh, on top of that, your character progression you can bring to other people's servers or their seeds uh, that they're running. Uh, so as more people are in the game, the game world gets more difficult. So if we say we had 10 people on the world currently, uh, the game would be scaled up for 10 players, whether we were all around each other or not. So if you have a maxed out server with 10 people on it and you're all in different places, the game is going to be much more difficult for you because there's 10 people currently in the server. Now, there have been people editing the game and they've been able to run 50 man servers. The game is not built yet or optimized yet for that many people. Uh, the devs, it's a five man dev crew, or at least it was. And they put together what I would argue is one of the best survival games on the market in its early access. I think in the last week they've sold over a million copies uh, and, and it's all deserved. I'm giving you a little bit of spoilers, all right? Um, so if you don't, if you don't want any spoilers, don't continue to listen, but I'm, I'm kind of just giving you a general gist of the game. As you progress through the game and you beat these bosses to advance your tech, the world tries to destroy you more. So randomly while you progress through the game, there will be raids that happen on your base. But as you progress through the world and you kill the bosses, raids will happen on you wherever you are in the map so if you hang around your base there will be raids that happen on your base you know a bunch of trolls getting spawned skeletons etc etc there's a bunch of different types of raids that can happen and they will try to basically break down your base where or wherever you are uh so the more you progress the more difficult the game gets the more people that are on the the server the more difficult the game is also the game map is procedurally generated so everyone's playthrough is going to be totally different from the other person's playthrough. So because the map is procedurally generated, if you want to do another playthrough with different rule sets for yourself, it's going to be completely different. Every biome has different things within it. And just because you go to a meadow biome in one spot doesn't mean a meadow biome in another spot isn't going to have different resources for you. So every playthrough, every biome, completely procedurally generated makes for a very enjoyable exploration gameplay experience. Now, regarding the future of Valheim, they, they have a roadmap out where they, you know, they, they give a very brief explanation of what they're working on. It's up to the imagination what they're, they're working on and what those descriptions mean. Uh, but what I can see is that once the game is uh, giving creative mode to players on their servers, I can see this game opening up for really good PvP servers. In its current iteration, this game is not built for PvP. It's not balanced. Uh, and so that that's further down the line. So if you're looking for a PvP survival game, this currently is not it. But what it is, is one of the best PvE focused co-op games I have ever played in my life. Uh, it's more than worth the $20. I highly recommend this game. I've probably gotten 50 to 70 people to try the game and every single one of them has fallen in love with the game. So I can't recommend it enough. But in the future, this game will definitely open up more PVP rule set servers. People will customize it. We personally have a bunch of ideas. So if if that sounds like your cup of tea, I can't recommend it enough. I will put links in the description of this video below for their roadmap, uh, my Twitch, because I'm a fucking whore, all that good stuff. 
can't recommend enough valheim currently has i think 200 like right now this is after a week of it being out let me see how many current players we have 200 we peaked all-time peak one hour ago 265,463 concurrent players overwhelmingly positive reviews try it don't be a fucking idiot peace